Hey everybody, this is Michael McCarthy here, and in this video we're going to take a look at using the new Ornatrix Edit Guide Brush Graphs in order to address and get better articulation out of our brushes. Here we have this scene with this uh, beautiful model we got from Turbo Squid, this nice athletic model, and her hair's up in a ponytail. And I thought that this would be a good example because it's something I ran into recently of how you could use these new brushes. So when I go in here and I go to Edit Guides, you'll see that with the latest release of version 5, we have our new graphs here under brush attenuation and strand attenuation. And these are really useful. So with, even with version 5, we had the graphs here, but they were kind of the older version of graphs. And now these allow you to set up presets and give you more control over what you're doing here. To show that, let's just take a look at the brush attenuation. I'm going to move this over to the side, and you can see uh, the brush attenuation graph will allow you to adjust whether you have fast or slow drop off. So this is the center and you can see the center is set to a value of one which is the hot area or you're going to have that full strength and then you can kind of push it so that the middle you have kind of a faster or a slower fall off and that's really really useful. Uh, you may even want to just have it where uh, you have a really neat you know edge and you can make all sorts of different brushes here that may help in your styling if you wanted to do that. Now the nice thing is you can pop these out now and you can have more control over them. You can stretch them out so you can get really nice fidelity and on each of these you can go in and you can set you know uh, an exact value. Sometimes I like to have exact values here set for whatever we're doing and you also have your presets. So we actually already looked at a video with these uh, and how to use all these. What I want to look at is the benefits here. So the first thing I would do with this brush is set that kind of slow in and slow out. So this might be a more of a soft brush. You can see there's a very gradual, slow drift off to the edges as far as that strength goes. And I can go in and I can save that. So I'm just going to save this as soft. And you could set this to a global preset too if you want. So I'm going to say OK. And now that's going to show up over here. And then we might go up here and push that up. So that's kind of a hard brush. All right. And I'll save that out. And I'll just call that hard. I'll save it as a global preset as well. So it shows up right here. So now we have our hard and our soft fall offs. And that's pretty nice. So with a soft fall off, you can expect you, expect, you can see how you can kind of just nudge those hairs. And then if we go in with the hard fall off, that's going to be a pretty pretty quick fall off on that brush uh, to deal with, which is really great. So this is a really nice feature in order to have, and it's nice to have uh, this control. Now with the strand attenuation, this is, this is really great uh, because I ran into the situation before where I was adjusting these, and I'll just set this back to something in the middle. I was going in and trying to adjust you know, the wave of a ponytail, and of course I get this, but I get all those hairs at the root and they're all overlapping. And because these are all one hair, it makes it very difficult to select different portions that I wouldn't select the roots. And that's exactly what will happen here. So as I go through here, I'm just going to adjust the size. Hold down shift and you can adjust the size of your brush. Control shift will adjust the strength. So I'll bring the strength down a little bit. But still, even with that low strength, I'm always going to get the roots and the tips. But under strand attenuation, I can adjust that with a lot of control now. So if I start to bring this down, now this is really only going to affect those tips. And I'm going to move it uh, maybe here to the 0.8 range. And you can see as I'm adjusting, I'm not really affecting anything back here. You can see only these tips down here are getting uh, affected. I want a little bit more of that. So I'll bring it out to maybe 0.7. Now I'm moving up the chain a little bit and maybe even a little bit more. All right, so now I have all that and I can start to adjust this ponytail very easily, even from the back. So even if I'm you know, right on top of these back hairs, I can push this to the left a little bit and push it to the right a little bit and I don't affect any of the hairs back here. And this is really super helpful. And if I go in here, just the same way I did before, I can save out that tip only in this case, I didn't make it a global preset. If I go over here, uh, I can save out another one. So I might do the opposite. 
like so, which is just the root. So let's go in here. We'll do something that is just the roots. So pretty similar if I really, you know, I want to go in and I want to tweak these roots. And for this, I'll probably turn off under our brush options here. I'm going to turn off uh, preserve strand length. And that way I can just tweak these right here. And there is my root only, okay? So I can maybe make it a little bit wider. We'll go out to maybe 0.4. Again, I like to add these uh, exact values and I can save this out. So I'll save this out as root only. And I can get back to this brush very easily but just by popping this out and picking that preset. Then I can adjust this like so. And even from the back, if I wanted to, I can push these side to side and these hairs aren't getting in the way. So I found this super helpful on a recent groom that I was doing with a ponytail. And I really think it's, it's very useful and it, it speeds up your production quite a bit to have a lot of control as well as saving out the presets with these new attenuation graphs that are in the latest build of uh, Ornatrix version 5. So I hope that helps you in your grooming. Thank you very much.